Kamara currently lying live to the nation about a situation around a suitcase which is completely untrue you've got somebody there who instead of focusing on arranging friendlies for march and, and focus on how we can improve as a team as a nation uh, as, as a unit as one he's deciding to to pick apart people and um, and lie it may seem a small issue around a suitcase for 50 dollars, but it's it's the bigger picture chris kamara as, and, and others have been a part of setup for many many years and and unfortunately until these people go and, and a change is made then i believe we'll continue to get the same results it really is a shame i did a talk the other day with mohammed cologne and several others about the Leon Stars, about my experience, about you know how good it was because there's so many positives to take from it. You know, we have an unbelievable spirit in the camp. We have uh, a lot of lot of good players, a lot of good young players as well, exciting players. And I think there's so much potential, but until we remove this, I want to call it nonsense, um, and people who are unfortunately very destructive, then we're going to continue in the same cycle and that makes it very difficult to attract new players especially players who are playing in the top leagues in in england the top leagues in europe because things are done very differently there things are organized so it's kind of bittersweet right now to be talking about this kind of stuff after after what i feel was was a successful afcon in the sense that we i believe made ourselves proud we put sierra leone on the map um we know we could have done better it would have been amazing to make it out of the group and have made history it wasn't quite ready for that because we have these 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 problems and like like I said, they may seem small, but when they all build up, it results in us losing to a, to a well-organized, well-structured Equatorial Guinea. I have to pay respect to them because they're well-organized. You, you could see that. They've been together a long time and they, they have a system in place. And I, I believe we can learn from that. I believe we can learn from our experience. And, um, you know, I really, you know, from my point of view, I would like to see us focus on the football side of things um, and, and focus on uh, preparing friendlies for March, you know, getting the right people in to make sure that we can we can be a success, you know. Afcon 2023 is one where I hope when we can go and we can go all the way. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's my view on it. Like I said, it, it is it is bittersweet um, because there's so many fond memories and so many uh, good experiences that that I've had in such a short space of time. But it's also clouded by by this stuff, and um, I really hope that we can uh, we, we can we can address these and um, and move forward.